So MGK went at Jack Harlow? Does Jack Harlow have to respond? Let's chop this fable. We got a battle, ladies and gentlemen. This is the main event of the evening. Does Jack Harlow have to respond to MGK? Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's absolutely positively no universe that Jack Harlow does not have to respond to MGK. We're going to chop this whole fable. We're going to break it down and talk about what happened. So, first of all, MGK's been on a little hip-hop tear lately. There you go, laying six feet while I stand six six and these new kicks sitting in a double R with the double X roof print cigar on my mouth with the cover of the blueprint. I said, he done woke up back on his, you feel me? Yeah, lay up, okay? So um, Jack, we're going to go back into the beginning. Jack Harlow on, uh, 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 on his new album said this. The hardest white boy since the one who rapped about vomiting sweaters and holding comments because I promise you I'm honestly better than whoever came to your head right then. So basically, he's saying he is the best white rapper after Eminem. And he even went as far as to say, no, no, whoever you thought of when I said that, I'm better than them too. When I heard Jack say that, first of all, <clears throat> Jack dropped that Jackman album. Let's talk. I love the Jackman album. I love it. That's my favorite thing I've heard from Jack Harlow since his double XL cypher. Honestly, there was content in it. He was saying something. There was, it, it wasn't just like a, a pop album. It was hip hop. It was great. He was in his rapper bag. Ugh, this nigga's spitting right now. But MGK, we know that MGK is Mr. Smoke. If he wasn't afraid to go at Eminem, if he went at Eminem and Eminem thought, oh, I need to go back at him, then we know that this is a battle tested person. That's why I keep telling y'all people it's very important that rappers are battle tested. Because that's what's going to gauge my whole opinion of this. So, MGK drops his Renegade Freestyle. And on his Renegade Freestyle, he took a mean shot at Jack Harlow. I see why they call you Jack Man. You Jack Man's whole swag. Give Drake his flow back, man. He told that boy, give Drake his flow back. And for anybody who, who maybe doesn't listen to Jack Harlow, only listen to MGK or just was figuring this out... <coughs> Jack Harlow, if we're going to be all the way honest, I love the Jackman album. And uh, I don't hate Jack Harlow at all. I, his, his, that last album he dropped before Jackman, I don't be liking his like super pop stuff. Now, Jack has really been accused a lot of stealing a lot of stuff from Drake. Did you hear the album? I did. Does it not sound like this is my best impersonation of a Drake album? He sound like Drake a lot. Yeah. He sound yeah. like he I is doing sounds like Drake a impersonation lot. on it a is, lot of this album, and is. I did not like that. And you could clearly tell Drake was one of his influences, especially when Jack gets. Uh, it, 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 there's a certain pocket he gets in that's very Drakeish, and MGK is not the first person to say this. He's not the fiftieth person to say this. I'm pretty sure Jack Harlow knows if he listens back to some of his music. Like, there's a little too much Drakeisms in this. A little too much Aubrey in this. So he said that Vaughn. And when I heard him say so, but Jack Harlow, you have to absolutely positively respond. That's not even a question. There's so many, there's so many, there's almost, MGK almost puts you in a position that might retroactively make your Jackman album look bad. Good. Because the whole crust, the whole crutch of the Jackman album was let's strip away all the popisms, let's get back to that real hip hop, real storytelling. I'm really focused on my pen, how I'm moving. This is hip hop. But what what J what MGK did was say, oh, 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 so this is hip hop. Oh, so you in this bag now. And you think you're the best? Okay, let's do this. Come on. Just Bring it. And if if Jack Harlow doesn't respond now, it will almost retroactively make the Jackman album trash. To me at least. Because if if you don't respond, then that lets me know that that whole this is hip hop thing was more of a marketing thing than it was how you actually felt. Because hip hop is a contact sport. He ain't lying. 
Hip hop has more in common. I know we look at it as a genre of music, but that's not even how it started. It is a part of music, but the culture is competitive. Hip hop in itself has more in line with like a MMA than it does like country music. It really does. There is a competitive nature. Hip hop came from New York. From from it started as a way of making gang members not go and murk each other. Try me. But they started doing dance battles, rap battles, MC battles, graffiti and that's how it started. Let me just give you a hip hop lesson. So that element, that competitive nature will never be removed. And if you don't like that, please, please, dear God, let me take my glasses off. Dear Lord and Savior, stop listening to hip hop. I, I promise you hip hop will not miss you. It's facts! It's facts! It's not facts. These facts are not facts. I promise. Because I was really certain comments where people were like, why do rap? You know those people, those people who grew up on goddamn saltine crackers and 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 cheese. That's all they ate. Just like, oh my god, there's no flavor in it. Oh my god! Why do rappers have to diss each other? What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> point is to show who's better and actual hip-hop fans love it love it so getting that out the way i love this is why i always have respect for mgk and i always have respect for mgk because mgk is hip-hop mgk has became so successful in rock music and pop rock whatever you want to call it pop whatever he's had number one albums he's doing huge shows mgk has one. But why I love him is that he comes back to, hip hop is a part of him. That rock stuff he's doing is an experiment. But if you really know MGK, he's always been a mix of rock and rap. He's always been, always been. That's why I have mucho respect for him. That's why I always have respect for him. I really think MGK is one of my favorite white rappers, period. Maybe it's because I've actually, I actually know him. I've been on tour with him. I've been on shows with him. I rock with him. I didn't like him during the, uh, I think Eminem beat him and I didn't like him during the Benji P era. I think he was going through something, but now he's in this hip hop bag. I'm too sick, no venereal, but I must be a disease because the way that my competition keep on trying but dying, I'm telling you, this is a burial. A lot of, this is what a lot of, I've noticed white artists do with hip hop. They come into hip hop first. They use hip hop to get pop because hip hop's the biggest form of music. And then they get to a certain point and then they just shut it away. And it's almost like they throw away anything that's black, urban, or colored around them. We've seen it with the Miley Cyruses. <laughs> with the Justin Bieber's, and I like Justin Bieber, but we've seen it, bro. The list keeps going down. MGK is hip hop first, it's in his DNA, and that's why I rock with this dude. And Jack, if you do not respond, not only are you garbage for not responding, but I almost take back what I liked about the Jackman album, and I, and I feel like you bamboozled me. That's on the set. I feel like, oh, oh, so you, you tricked me. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, my bad. I thought you was on some hip hop bag. MGK, and I also think that who will win? Let me get this out quick. Who I think will win? MGK. Y'all thought I was going to put some suspense to that? Nah, MGK by far. I think MGK is better than Jack Harlow in almost everything, right? Um, it, 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 MGK, I saw someone being like, MG, this is obviously like a Stan who still has residual hate because they're weird. MGK always does this. Why does he always use a bigger artist to try to get clout? And I was like, wait, who, who, who is supposed to be the bigger artist to try to use? J Jack Harlow? You, you think Jack Harlow is bigger than MGK? On what level? What does Jack... What, on what level? Now, I know Jack Harlow was more of a lyrical rapper back in the day, and then now he's done more pop stuff, but let's keep it real. MGK is lyrically better than Jack Harlow. Or not... They're not too far away from each other where it's like, what are you talking about? I think he's way better. MGK has sold more albums than Jack Harlow. MGK probably has more number ones. MGK, if not more chart-topping songs, his career has been bigger. MGK has gone through battles with Eminem. That's why being battle-tested is, is important. So, 
I want to see how this goes, but I definitely think MGK's win. But the one thing I love about battle rap, and I've always said this, and if you watch my channel, you know this, just because you're lyrically better doesn't mean you're going to win. So really, who has more of the dog in them? You feel me? So it's any man's game. MGK threw something out. I definitely think that was just a tester, though. I think he got the... <laughs> so Jack, we're going to be waiting for a response. Don't take too long, bro. You said you was the best. Come show me. That's all. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Put in the comment section who you think will win.